After waiting a day and a half for the wind to fill in for our sail to Morea, we decided to motor out through the pass in the hope of more wind offshore. It's taken a while to get used to, but after two months in French Polynesia and a lot of reef navigation, the sight of breaking waves either side of a narrow reef pass no longer scares us. That doesn't mean we've stopped being careful though. Woohoo! We're sailing! Yeah, we don't like that motor. After the hustle and bustle of Tahiti and all the time we spent servicing and replenishing Florence there, coming here feels like a holiday. When we arrived we bumped into some friends that we met in Nikuhiva. So this morning we're going to see if we can go and swim with a stingrays together. Here comes our ride. A couple of the hotels here have made a habit of feeding the stingrays, so they turn up en masse expecting to get fed. The stingrays are really curious, and when they brush up against you they're really soft, like velvet. We found Morea to be much quieter in terms of people and traffic than Tahiti and much more spectacular in terms of the scenery. Everyone's heard of Tahiti but very few people have heard of Morea which is a small island just a 12 mile ferry ride across from Tahiti.
We're heading for a hike today with our friends. It looks just like the Marquesas here, but hopefully without the rain. This bay has quite a bit of history. Captain Cook anchored here on his third voyage in the Pacific. And 12 years later, HMS Bounty came into the bay before that famous mutiny. Hiking isn't very popular in French Polynesia, so we were really happy to find some trails on Morea. I think we've lost our way. We can navigate halfway around the world, but we can't navigate through a forest. Yeah, are you sure that's the way? Looks like we found the path again, but still quite a long way from the top. We made it. <laughs> Florence is miles down there. Got a bit lost, but we got her in the end. Now to find an easier way down. Gotta go in. Yeah. Ready. Ready. <laughs> <I'm a dream. laughs> Woo! We're just leaving Morea. We've had an amazing time here, but unfortunately we've got to get moving if we want to see any more of the societies. So we're just heading on an 80 mile overnight sail to Huahini. When the distance between islands is too great to be easily done in daylight hours, we choose to leave before dusk and then sail slowly through the night so we arrive at the reef entrance in good light the next day.
We've had a bit of a reality check arriving here in Huahini. Yeah, as we sailed in, there's a 46-foot catamaran stranded on the reef. They crashed onto the reef in the dark four nights ago. Thankfully, everybody got off okay with no injuries. And we went ashore and found Wi-Fi, and the first thing that popped up on Facebook was that our friend, who's halfway between Panama and the Marquesas, so 2,000 miles from land, has developed a crack in his hull and is taking on water. These two incidents have really hit home with us about the risks of what we're doing. Now, thankfully, we've managed to get this far with no issues, but it just shows that we can't be complacent. We've got to carry on being careful and safe. Whilst not as dramatic as Morea, Huahini is beautiful in a much quieter and gentle way. Next time, we visit the honeymoon capital of the world, Bora Bora. <laughs>